There are so many people that make your child's day go smoothly at school. News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky joins us as we talk about where that day starts on the school bus. Well, that's right. If you think about it, you guys, a kid's school day really does start when they step foot on that bus as they're greeted by their bus driver, and that person is someone that they usually know, trust, and recognize. But lately, a national bus drive sh driver shortage has made the person picking up the kids not always consistent, and it's also causing bus routing nightmares. Driving a school bus is no small task. How am I doing, Tracy? You're doing great. <laughs> Trust me, they gave me the keys. It's 37 feet long. Wow, I feel like I'm like going over them for <laughs> sure. <are>. Oh no! <laughs> and when you have your certification, you're also carrying precious cargo. You know, we're not delivering packages, we're delivering uh, people's children. Priceless deliveries that require specially certified drivers. But at the end of last school year, Sumner County was short 24% or 53 of the needed bus drivers, a number they knew they had to boost. And that's a huge daunting task. Having to get creative, you know, it, it's a national crisis of school bus driver shortage. And, you know, in the Middle Tennessee area with the growth that we're experiencing, which is a great thing, but there are so much more employers advocating and they're pulling from the same folks that we are. And we want them to come here and drive for the school system. In this county, they'll teach you to drive a bus, give you full benefits, and after pleading with the school board this summer, they'll now pay you at least $18.26 an hour, a figure that's up more than 50% than last year. There were tears. They're very thankful and excited. They feel supported by the community. And they do a hard job. They're up every morning at 5 30, 6 o'clock in the rain, maybe winter weather and things like that. And so with that encouragement um, from the local supporters and school board, uh, they feel very appreciated. However, mid-semester, there's still 30 drivers short. We have five uh, folks in the district that are either teachers, and we have one assistant principal that stepped up to the call. And Thomas Spears is that assistant principal that now also proudly boasts the title bus driver. So they asked me about driving, and I thought it was a really bad idea at first. Um, and luckily, the support from the transportation department here uh, made it easily accessible. So they helped me with the training for my CDL, uh, were with me every step along the way. <laughs> While you may never have pictured yourself in this seat, bus drivers say the time spent learning how to drive this big vehicle is well worth the time that you get to spend with the kids. Definitely my favorite part is talking to the kids. As a school person, we're always wondering how it looks at home and what that's going to do to help them learn or distract from learning once they get there. And so I get to you know, know how they woke up, were they on the right side of the bed or the wrong side of the bed, maybe correct that before they get to school and to the teachers. A chance to set the tone and drive I have a bus full of kids. You got it. Woo! That just might make your day. <laughs> got a fella run up to me and give me a hug today, and he was like, I'll see you on the bus this afternoon, Mr. Spears. That's a great feeling to have, to know that they depend on you and you depend on them. In Sumner County, Clear Kopsky, News Channel 5. This driver shortage isn't just happening in Sumner County. We reached out to counties in the mid state and found out that while some areas weren't missing as large of a percentage, which is 14% of the drivers in Sumner County right now, some areas are missing more. For example, in Williamson County, they're missing 47 drivers or 18% of their driving staff. Right here in Davidson County, they have 19% missing up to 80 drivers. And in Cheatham County, they're missing 24% of their drive driving staff. It's really staggering and these county transportation directors, they are having to do so much to try to get creative. Oh, yeah. They're doubling up on routes. Mm -hmm. They are adding mechanics to drive. They're using contract workers. Mm -hmm. And I think the one that was really the most surprising to me is that they're applying for exceptions for their county to go beyond the 90 minute maximum bus ride time and applying to go up to two hours for bus time for kids. Uh -huh. No, kids and parents well, uh, won't like that. Exactly. Uh -uh. But what are they going to do? Yeah. Uh, I you mean, know? well, we've got one candidate right <laughs> No, here. we do not. Uh -huh. How was it driving that yeah. bus? You know, the turns were the hardest part. Yeah. You just don't really realize how far you have mm -hmm. to go and the braking, releasing the brake. Mm -hmm. It was fine to brake, 
but getting the brake unlocked, I mean, they want to make sure that bus stays oh, still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you drove through those cones. I mean, you that that couldn't be easy. With they the did not warn me that we were going to be doing the driving test. Yeah. Get, oh. It took me back to when I was 16. Yeah. <laughs> One time I parallel parked a school bus for a story. They should have asked Nicely you to do this, done. Rebecca. Uh, they walked yes. me through every single step. I cannot take any of wow. the credit. Wow, that's impressive. That is impressive. <laughs>